that good? Thank God, I suck this YouTube thing. Okay. All right, let's dive in. Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today we are going to talk about everything postpartum. Before I wrap up this whole pregnancy phase of my life, the last, basically what the last 10 months of my life has been like, I thought I would just end it with talking about my labor recovery postpartum experience. First of all, if you haven't read my birth story, I'll have it linked down below. I wrote a whole blog post describing my experience and you'll have a much better understanding of my recovery. I talk about if I got a c-section or a vaginal birth. I talk about if I had an epidural. Go read that. I'll have it linked in the description box. Okay, so the first thing we are going to get into is my weight and my body and how it's changed since I gave birth to my daughter because that is probably the question I got asked the most on Instagram. So many of you asked me, how has your body changed? How much weight did you lose? How much weight did you gain during pregnancy? So now is the time that I'm going to address all those questions because I cannot even tell you how many DMs I got asking me about how much weight I've gained. So I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I don't feel ashamed or anything to basically let it all out and let you guys know what my body went through. So to address the elephant in the room about how much weight I've gained during my pregnancy. So I gained a total of 15 kilograms, which is about 33 pounds and right after labor when I came home from the hospital I weighed myself and I pretty much lost half of that weight So I lost about 50 pounds right off the bat pretty stabilized since I came home from the hospital and stayed pretty much around the same weight I'm still about 15 pounds heavier than what I was pre-pregnancy, but that's totally fine I'm breastfeeding. So therefore I am constantly hungry I've been eating a lot more and I feel like my body just requires a lot more energy and therefore I haven't really lost much weight. Also, I haven't worked out at all because I was in recovery and literally could not work out. My stomach has really flattened and has really shrunk since I gave birth, just without even having to do anything. No exercise, I haven't really changed my diet. So that's amazing to see what our bodies can do. And I feel like, you know, going into pregnancy, that was something that I was personally very, very stressed about. I know a lot of women are worried about how their body's gonna recover and how it's gonna be like. And I'm happy to say that our bodies are amazing. The fact that I did not need to do anything and just lost half of that weight already is insane to me. Um, so trust your body, don't worry about it, be easy on yourself and I think that just by you know going back to my usual routine, having a more healthy diet, hopefully being able to work out pretty soon, um, I'll just naturally start going back to my pre-pregnancy size. But like I said, I'm really in no rush. I'm taking my time. I'm just really enjoying this moment with my daughter because that's like the most important for me right now. Also, I'll be showing you guys what my body looked like right after labor, like a few days after labor versus now one month postpartum. So make sure to watch until the end of this video to see that. Someone just woke up from her nap. Hi, hi, you wanna say hi? Say hello to the world. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, she's literally an angel. She's the sweetest thing, but yeah, I guess she's gonna be hanging around for the rest of the video, huh? Another thing that I was worried about was the whole hormonal changes in your body and, you know, um, postpartum depression and having dealt with mental health issues in the past. It definitely was something that I was a bit concerned about, but I have been feeling quite the opposite. The last trimester, I was always constantly tired. I barely had energy to do anything. My mood swings were like up and down. Um, but I, since I gave birth, I've been feeling so, so much better. I have so much more energy. I feel so much more alive. Uh, I really don't have much mood swings. So I'm so glad. I, f I finally feel like myself again, which is so great. And I was worried, you know, not being able to sleep, having to take care of a newborn, adjusting to being a mom. I was really worried about all of that and how I would, um, deal with it mentally, but it's been honestly amazing. I could not be happier. She's she's just brought me so much joy. I, I can't even express how over the moon my husband and I are with her and yeah. 
I don't want my labor story, even though it didn't go quite as planned, I do not want it to discourage or scare anyone. On the contrary, it was actually a beautiful and amazing experience. And at the end, both me and baby are healthy. So that's all that really matters. So first off, I did end up having a vaginal birth with an epidural. If you've read my birth story, you know this already, but I almost ended up having an emergency C-section. Her heartbeat dropped and it was, it was a whole thing. I talk about it in my birth story. So if you haven't read it, link down below. But basically because I got an epidural, the labor process was pretty much painless. I did not feel anything at all. The contractions before I got the epidural were painful but nothing like they show in the movies, for me at least. I know everybody's different, every woman reacts differently. I'd say the pain levels were about seven out of 10, but when the epidural were off, because I tore quite badly, I got third degree tear, which I'm not sure what that means and I'm not sure I wanna know what it means either. Um, yeah, when that epidural were off, let me tell you, I felt everything. Yeah, it was painful, huh? So the labor process for me really wasn't that uh, painful it's the recovery was at least personally because I tore for me the recovery was the hardest part in all of this so I had quite a few stitches as you can imagine and I was in a lot of pain especially at the beginning I had to take painkillers for about five days because the pain was just that strong I tried just taking Tylenol but it was really not cutting it so the doctor prescribed me painkillers that i had to take and it was the only thing helping me tolerate the pain but at least it only lasted about a week so the first i'd say two three days were the hardest and after that it starts getting easier and after a week i felt so so much better i felt like myself again i was almost healed and feeling like things were going back to normal but because I couldn't sit properly, obviously I couldn't put any pressure down there. Breastfeeding was also such a challenge. I couldn't sit up to breastfeed her, so that was very difficult. And I just had to constantly be on my side. So I would either put pressure on my thigh or I'd be laying down, but I could just never really sit up for the first couple of days. So yeah, uh, another little fun fact about postpartum. But now I'm one month, a bit over one month postpartum and I'm not in pain anymore, things are healing just fine and I'm pretty much almost fully healed right now, so... Alright guys, so this is what my body looks like one month postpartum. I'll actually insert a picture right here of what my body looked like right after I left the hospital compared to now one month postpartum. So pretty much... I mean, my stomach is back to being flat and like I said, it's insane what our bodies can do. I cannot believe that my stomach is this flat, just one month postpartum. Of course, I mean, you know, it's far from being the body I had pre-pregnancy. I miss my abs and the main difference I see is I really don't have much of a waist anymore. I used to have more of a defined waist, but now I'm pretty much straight up and down. I still have that dark line that a lot of women get during pregnancy. It faded, but hopefully it'll completely go away within a few months. And all in all, I'm just amazed at how my body bounced back. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll probably have a lot more body updates on there. Like I said, I haven't been able to work out or really diet at all. So hopefully once I start getting back to a normal routine, you know, I can fit into my old jeans again. But yeah, this is what I currently look like. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. If anything, I hope this video showed you guys that you can trust your body. Just, you know, if you're going through pregnancy, be easy on yourself. And I'm far from my pre-pregnancy weight, but I'm totally okay with that. I'm just taking it day by day, and I hope it was informative in any way, so. Also, my next video, I'll probably be sharing my postpartum must-have. So all the products that I used after my labor, that really, really helped me because like I said, it was not an easy process, but I did have a few things that made it easier. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. I'll try to post it sometime next week. No promises, but fingers crossed. And yeah, that's it. Hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below what you want to see next and share your experience with me. If you went through labor, if you're about to go through labor, what was your experience like or what are you 
afraid of and if you have any more questions for me that i didn't answer in this video please leave them down in the comments and i love you guys i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs> what yeah are you smiling at mommy are you smiling at me yeah if you're gonna choke me this video is literally gonna take three hours what is it? You want all the attention? You look at this little angel. Look at this little angel. <laughs>